What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. I'm so glad to be back. All right, I, d I don't really know what our goals are for this for this episode, but we're just going to keep going with the storyline. It's so early on, it's going to hold our hand quite a bit, I'm sure, as far as just general quest progression. But anyway, we don't have any new bodies at the morgue. Let's take a look at what our, our current goals are. We need to get a bottle of wine for Jerry, which should totally be doable. And then we need to find the astrologer, work on our graveyard, find a stamp, which we need to talk to, I think, Miss Chain, who shows up on, ooh, today, actually. So we'll head into town and check on that. But also, to get rid of some of these shrubs, that improves our graveyard quality. So I might as well. It's super easy. And it gives us some green and red points. Looks like one per which isn't bad. And it's not gonna do a ton for us. We started out at what, minus 29? And we're working our way up to minus 21, I guess, by the time we're done with all this. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down and then we'll head into town and see if we can't find, I believe, Miss, what, I literally just read her name. Why can't I remember this? Miss Chain. I think that's who we're looking for. Anyway, yeah, let's head into town and do that. My goodness, that is a trek. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of cuts in this whole series between town, or sorry, the village, as it's called. I think it's funny that that's the actual name of the village, is the village, and we belong to, or the village is located in the kingdom. <laughs> Very original names. Oh, we can actually talk to this guy. A beekeeper? He sells beeswax, honey, and bees? Can we have our own bees that'd be cool i don't know if we can and i don't know if these uh rotating villagers i don't know if they all show up in the tavern or not ah apparently they do waterloo boo you want to be loved by me shaluba duba wawa <laughs> shaluba duba wawa uh-huh Oh boy, this should be fun. Ms. Okay, so it's... Ms. Oh, it's not Miss Chain. It's Ms. Charm. There's something about this woman that you can't understand. Well, let's talk to her first. Oh, that's kind of nice. It shows what days they show up, in case you forget. Okay, so the bishop comes every... Sunday. I forgot to check the comment section of last episode for for names. I, I saw people called this Lady Day, but I, I didn't see anything for Sunday. So Lady Day, which makes sense because Miss Charm shows up on Lady Day. Or why don't we call it Charm Day? That could work. I don't know. Hi. What do you want? <laughs> oh, gosh. I am a graveyard keeper and I want to ask you some questions. I see. You know how many times a day I hear that same mumbling? I have no time for you, little man. Come back when you have more faith in yourself. Gosh, I do not like doing female voices. I am not good at them. But, ciao. Hey, friend. Can I have a moment? I don't remember how I voiced this guy last time. What did Miss Charm tell you? Literally to go away. Ah, always so classy. She would never talk to just anyone. I'm not just anyone. I'm the local graveyard keeper. I like how now we're totally owning it instead of like, I somehow ended up at this graveyard and now it's like, I am the graveyard keeper. <laughs> Soon to be prior of the local church. Psh, how primitive. I am a well-known poet in certain small circles. My name is Wagner. One day I'll read my poem to her and then we'll... <laughs> but first I need to write it and I am catastrophically out of paper and ink. Maybe you can get me some? Okay, now I need to get paper and ink so he can woo her so she'll talk to us. Is that how this goes? You've unlocked the new technology and got journalists. You notice the little things about people, put these things together, and you have a story. Sometimes you can get stories from dialogues. 
That's cool. I don't know what that does for us, but that's cool. You may have some of it in your church, or you can make it. I'm just not used to manual labor, but a skillful man such as you can surely do it easily. Also, you could get fr get some from the old astrologer. He used to go to the lighthouse every crescent day, or moon day, or whatever. He was my first supplier before we had this ridiculous fight. Oh gosh, okay, so the old astrologer is at the lighthouse. We need to talk to him for something about Witch Hill and how to get back. He's old and mad, whereas I've been studying for three, almost three years, at the town university. Can you believe he turned out to be an idiot? He told me that the earth is round. What nonsense. <laughs> yep, it's flat as a pan. <laughs> the astrologer must be the smartest man around. Maybe he'll help me get back home. I totally tripped over my words there. That's fine. Okay, and the lighthouse? It's on a cliff to the east of the village. It hasn't been... It hasn't seen active use for a while. Bless the dead horse for staying open. One day I'll write a poem about this place. Maybe even a couple lines about you. Cool. <laughs> That's one of the most fun voices to do. It's just so ridiculous. Okay. Hello, Horadric. Uh, bring the letter to Kresvold the blacksmith and return. I forgot about the return part. It's good you know how to use a sword. Kresvold told me about how you helped him. Here, have a beer. It's on the house. Why, thank you, Roderick. I appreciate it. M oh, seriously? We could have done that instead of buying the beer? Okay, well, we need wine now, which, does he even sell wine? Tier two? Ah, is there one? That looks like wine right there. These items are locked until the vendor gets to tier two. Is this just by selling stuff? Hold on, let's sell the beer. I don't think it has any other use right now. It gives us plus health and plus energy. That's fine, we'll sell it. Just to see, did that go up at all? Dang it, it moved up. I don't have a clue if that went up. Oh, well, well, we'll get it when we get it, right? It'll happen on its own, I'm sure. Or, like, eventually, just by playing the game, we'll get it. Okay, so we need to find the lighthouse, I guess. it. They said it was east of town? Have we been east of town? I don't think we have. Let's pull out... So the lighthouse would be... Maybe, maybe that? No, that looks like an egg. He said east, right? Maybe all these clouds will expand as we... Yeah, there's definitely more to see. Let's just keep heading east and see what we find. I'm looking for the lighthouse. But okay, yeah, that is definitely a chicken coop. Ooh, and can we steal some eggs? Fresh eggs? Oh! Okay, I've seen a lot of different places that have a little hourglass over them. I guess we need to interact with all that. Now we can... I can trade with a basket. Or I'm trading with this straight-up chicken. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just overanalyzing everything, which is what I tend to do. Ooh, who's out here? Whoa, hello. His name's Dig? This guy must be crazy. You think I'm crazy? No, I don't think that. I'm just trying to stay positive. And I know what truly matters. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. What? Heh, do you think you can understand? No, Dig, he won't. Because he can't see. Okay, then I'll tell him a sweet lie. It sounds like he's got a, like a mouthful. <laughs> She only think Oh gosh, I didn't read that. Sweet look, honey. Bring me some honey and I'll teach you how to make a cake. Cake is the best. I know I used like five different voices for that guy. Okay, crazy man named Dig who lives in a pot on its side. Uh. Ooh. 
Okay, it didn't unlock anything on the map. That's fine. Ah, and you can use WASD on the map. That's kind of cool. Uh, okay, I would imagine that the lighthouse is along the coast. Speaking of coast, we got some shoreline here. This is kind of nice. Ooh, and I can... Ooh, I can fish off the dock. This is a fishing spot like others you can find in the village, river, swamp, and sea. Ah, there's specific locations. I don't have a fishing rod yet, though. Nor do I know what fishing does for me. I, I don't think I need it for anything yet, but... Then again, I'm sure the game will give us the fishing rod before we need to fish. What is this? Need a technology? Which one? Something that allows me to dig large piles of dirt, I guess? I'm under just straight up exploring right now. This is kind of cool. Ooh, like a traveling merchant? Hmm, I smell something tasty and smoky. A gypsy baron. If you're looking for someone to read your poem, you should go to the town. Everybody there is scrambling to earn enough to buy a scrap of bread. Okay. So that does nothing. Wonderful smell. What smells so good? Mm, it's great, isn't it? That's my kebab. It's an old family recipe. Bring me some good fish fillets. I was literally just talking about needing fish. And, well, not needing fish. And I'll teach you. Bring four silver star fish fillets. Cool. And I'm sure we can make the fillets out of fish we catch. But again, I don't know how. Lighthouse? Seriously, no lighthouse over here? Are you kidding me? Oh, is this a, this has got to be it? Yeah, that looks kind of lighthouse-ish, right? And that's a, a cliff we can't go up. Can we get up there? I think probably not. This guy's totally blocking the way. Where are we right now? I think we're right here. Camp. Yeah, and then that's the lighthouse. Can you let us through? What is this place? This pass leads to the mountain fort. No entry is permitted. What? But why not? Okay. Well, uh, scratch that plan. Okay. Are there any technologies we can get? Sawing would allow us to get flitch to create flitches. That sounds, that's a mouthful. Ooh, and then wood repair kits, which I know we need wood and stone repair kits for the graveyard. I don't have a clue what I should be spending points on, but I'm going to learn. Nails and simple iron parts seem very useful, but we'll start with this because why not? We can create flitches and wood billets. Sure. I should probably hold off on doing some of those tech stuff until we know exactly what we need because the points are going to be hard to come by early on. What is this? No, I can't cut these trees. Is that what it's saying? I guess so. All right. I'm going to try to head back home. And by try to, I mean, I'm going to head back home. I just got to kind of get my bearings first. I'll eventually learn where everything's at and not get so lost. Ah, this is a tavern. Okay. Cool. This map's actually pretty big. Cool. I'll see you guys at home. Ah, and as the sun's rising, we arrive back home. All right, though. I want to look at some of the stuff around here, though. Like I mentioned, there were some of these hourglass. Place for stones. Oh, that's literally all it's going to tell me. Place for wood logs. Tutorial building. Use a blueprint desk to access the building interface and start building or removing an object in the area. Some objects will be built immediately, like an anvil, I guess. Some of them will need a little extra work with your hammer. This will spend time and energy. Okay, what can we build? Oh, that's a lot of stuff. We could build a sawhorse. Perfect for for poking people and starting fires. <laughs> the wooden stick. Okay, I don't know if we need that yet, but... Uh, let's take a quick little nap just to get some energy. I don't know what we need energy for yet, but I feel like we're getting low. And if we start a project... Uh, that's kind of cool. You can wake up whenever you want. Let's look up right at noon. Get a good little nap in. There we go. And we saved. Whoa. I'm so refreshed. 
<clears throat> this is not good, not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveyard keeper? Ooh. Hooray, a keeper. <laughs> wow, I've been here for, hmm, how long? I'm Yorick. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait, no, on the contrary. I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. That sound like something you can help us with? I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick, and he's Jerry. Funny. I, I do not get that reference, uh, if that's in reference to something. <laughs> ah, the half-dead skull. That jealous bastard. Ah, <laughs> he can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here. Especially that guy down in the lower right corner gray. He's so mean. Do we have to get rid of him? Could you just get rid of him? <laughs> As if by answering my question. Just dig him up and throw him in the river. I can even give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. What license? I'm assuming the exhumation permission? You're such a dummy. To dig up a corpse, you need a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox near the church. Okay, I went from like ghosty to like very gaudy and wealthy rich dude voice there. The voices are gonna take me a little while to get the hang of. I'm having a lot of fun with them though, so I hope you guys enjoy as well. And we're gonna for sure keep doing them. I, I need some practice at voices, clearly. Alright, he doesn't like the guy in the lower right corner of the graveyard, and we can now dig him up since we have permission to do so. And he's uglifying our graveyard, so shame on him. We can exhume this ugly dude's body. To exhume a body, you need to have exhumation permission. Are you sure you want to exhume the body? Yes? Okay, so... Ah, so now we can dig him up and take the body and dump him in the river. That made our graveyard uglier. What the heck? I know there's a river right over here, which we can't get across. Ah. Hey, look, we need flitches to repair the bridge and nails, which is another perk. We might work on that soon, too. I don't know. <laughs> it's so dark. How far down does this go? That's kind of cool. It actually avoids the rock. I approve. Oh, we don't have to get to like watch it go off a waterfall or anything. That's unfortunate. Whoa. What do you think you're doing here? A ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what? Now you're... Oh gosh, I can't remember how I did this. So what? Now you're just gonna do everything he asks? It's not like he... Uh, what did I do? It's not like he can do anything to you. Ha ha, he's disembodied. Whereas I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. <laughs> of course, I'd never do anything like that because we're friends. But you get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. Seriously, we can, we're gonna burn bodies? Yeah, where does that go? The river, the river somewhere down to the town, I think. So the body goes back into town. Does that mean the donkey's gonna bring it back? That's not cool. You know what? You're one of those guys who looks a lot smarter than they actually are. <laughs> Thanks. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm proving his point. You need fire and some wood. It's a bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. 
I have to burn it in a specific spot? Hmm, you'd need a place. Or a nice, quiet place. Like the place I use for my meditation. Cross the road from the mortuary entrance near the cliff. I'm gonna have to watch back my first episode or episodes as I introduce new voices because I totally blanked on what I did for him. Some sort of derpy, like, I, 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 I don't know. I'll get there. Okay, let's go find that spot, though. Across from the mortuary by the cliff, so I'm guessing straight down from the church. Right? We still don't have access to our church, which I think is important. Didn't you say it was... Wait, is this it? What is this? Crematorium? Huh? Maybe? maybe? Is this the spot? Can I get little Jerry to pop his head out anywhere? No, maybe not. And that's all we have for him. Get a bottle of wine. It doesn't show... Oh, man. The quest system is a little bit jumbled. We're gonna go down here just to see what's... Oh, wait. We could have gone this way. That worked. Okay, so this is nothing? I don't think. And I don't think we can go any lower. I think we're... Actually, heck, what do I know? Wait, that's not even... Did he say it was across from the morgue? That would make sense, right? Because that's where all the dead bodies are getting dropped off? Is this not... No, we were just there. Okay. Never mind. I guess that's not a thing. Uh, let's head into town on... Uh, I don't know what this day is called. But let's head into town real quick and see if anyone new shows up on this day that we haven't met yet. Everyone seems to have their own specific day, so... Let's see if we can't get there before midnight, I guess. I love this music in town. It's so nice. Anyway, it's almost... The day's almost up. Anyone new? No? Not yet. But it looks like people have a, a routine, sort of. Miss Chain, hello. You better talk with my husband. He's in charge here. No, nothing there. Does the day... Ah, it rolls over right at... What is this, Horn Day? That sounds... Whoa, it's raining. Holy crap. All right, what should we work on next? It said we're going to get access to the church again. Or to the oh, church. Oh. I'm glad the village is safe. To the church on Sunday again, I think. Once that rolls back around. Until then, I'm checking to see if the blacksmith, Greya's Vold, has anything for us. Nope. I have to be better friends with him to enter his house. All right. Back to the graveyard to figure out what the heck we can do. Ooh. By the order of the Great Inquisitor, this path is closed until... Mail Day. Or Dude Day. I, I don't know. Okay, and this is the path... Where does this lead? To which hill? Okay, so tomorrow, which will be probably the next episode, we can head up to which hill? Which is where the astrologer is? Meet him and see what kind of dialogue that prompts or quests it opens up. I like kind of how open-ended this game is. Like, there seems like there's a lot to do, but it's not necessarily in a particular order, which is kind of cool. Can we cut down trees from here? Can we... Need a technology to cut down trees, really? We don't have that yet? Oh, wait. Just kidding. That's just a different size tree, I guess? Ooh. Wait, I can't... Are you serious? You have to push everything everywhere? How does it go in the... Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> that would have been probably the smart thing to do, but... Okay, and then we need our shovel to dig up the stump. Does that do anything? Gives us... I guess that's good. All right, I just wanted to get a couple trees here real quick. 
and see if there's anything we can make. I know we'll need that sawhorse. There we go. The sawhorse, I think, was a requirement to make flitches, which will be used to repair... Wow, this probably doesn't hold a lot. Used to repair um, the bridge? And we needed... What else did we need? Ah, stone repair kit. Oh, I don't have enough stuff. I didn't also mean to do that. I meant to just drag it over. We need more red stuff. Your ability to work with materials. Handcrafted stuff. Can we clean up space? Will this give us physical? It does. Not a ton, but it helps. Okay, that's a much cleaner looking area. We at least have room to put stuff. But while I was doing that, I noticed there's this down here. What is this? The garden. Property in forfeiture. For commercial use, contact the tavern owner, Herodric. Ah, so we have to, like, purchase the deed for the land, I guess? It's not technically ours yet. Oh, and I'm just now remembering there was another... Oh, it's not here now, but there was something down here. Ah, things are happening. What's that sound? Whoa. Who is that? Damn gate. I'll come here every night if I have to. But I'll get through eventually. What? Why is this guy down here? Looks like I can remove this blockage and fortify the arch? What does that take? That seems... Wood wedge, wooden plank, and simple iron parts. That's cool. Okay, crafted at chopping spot. Crafted at circular saw, carpenter's workbench, and carpenter's workbench too. Okay, let's take a look at our technologies real quick. So that would be under the building segment, right? So we can make flitch. We need a wood wedge. Heck, we need it. Let's do it. The wood wedge. And then what was the other thing we needed? Wooden plank. Which we can make already, right? No. Ah, okay. So we need 20 more red points and two more green points to get that. Okay, that's kind of cool. It sort of... I have a feeling that's how a lot of the progression in this game is gated. Different things will require different materials to fix or, you know, someone will ask for an item that can only be crafted or obtained with a certain tool or something that you have to put tech points into to unlock so it kind of forces your progression that's kind of neat i don't know if that's actually how it works but i am liking this a lot anyway though that's where we're gonna end today holy crap does 30 minutes fly by playing this game i will definitely do my best to revisit um my past video and check on the voices that i did and try and stay consistent with those from video to video Ooh, we can get flour from these sacks? I don't know what the heck that does. And that's a recipe, and I'm doing what I always do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. If you have any suggestions as to what I should do next, obviously, without spoilers, that would be much appreciated. I'm going to try to work on removing that archway, and I, I don't know what else. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And until then, as always, take care.